Hey Pokemon collectors and investors, I'm Ace Among Cards and today I'm going to go over with you on how to clean your cards. If you have old cards in your collection or maybe new cards you're getting that have dirt marks, black specks, maybe any kind of stains, I'm going to go over with you on how to safely clean those cards without damaging them and making them look as new as possible. Run the intro. Okay guys, so before we start, let's go over with some things we're gonna need. Okay, so first you're gonna need some water, and you don't need much, just a little bit. And then as many of these soft cloths as possible, these are the kind of cloths that come with a pair of glasses or maybe a tablet, anything that cleans like your screens or glass, just these soft cloths, you can, the, the more the merrier, because as you're washing their, your cards or cleaning, scrubbing them, they, they tend to start getting dirty and you don't want to keep reusing like dirty cloths on, on different cards. So the more the merrier with that. Uh, any kind of sh thin, sharp blade um, or razor. So you can, there's going to be, sometimes you're going to have crust on these cards if they're really bad. And you kind of got to like flick them off, shave them off. And, and the rag won't do what, be enough. So this is a, having a thin, sharp blade uh, can get it off a lot easier. And then lastly, a bigger rag. You need a rag, soft, soft, nice soft rag um, for when your cards need to dry, you can lay them out on um, a towel or a rag. And depending on how many cards you have, you know, you'll determine how big of a rag you need. And I'll show you all of that as we go about this whole process. So let's get started. All right, so for starters, I have two stacks of Pokemon cards. First, I have a lightly dirty stack of cards. So you, you'll see some specs. You see the black spec here. There's one right here. And then this other stack is very dirty. Let me take them out of the sleeve for you. So you'll see a lot of black marks and dirt on, on this card everywhere. Everywhere. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go through every single card. I'll, I'll go through a few and show you how I go about doing this. So let's start first with the less dirty one, and I'll show you what I do. So we'll go with the first edition Shadowless Abra. Luckily it's not, it's not too dirty, but there are some black marks here and there. So, this is very important guys. This may be the most important thing you do with this whole process. You take your cloth, and when you have your water, you do not drown the cloth in water. It, it should not be super wet. You, you just a couple drops, couple drops. You 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 almost don't. You barely don't want. Don't you don't even want to feel the water. Don't even want to feel the water. Okay. So let me do this carefully. You don't even want to feel the water on the rag. Now, if you can see my hand, my finger is wet. I'm gonna wring some of that water out to the best of my ability. If anything comes out, or kind of dry it on the rest of the rag here. You ever heard of the term dry mop? Like when you're cleaning, maybe you, uh, when you were, uh, when I worked for a grocery store or a restaurant and people are in there, um, customers, you just, uh, a boss will tell you just to go, go through with a dry mop and clean it up. So the floor is not super wet, but you are cleaning some things up. So that's kind of like the same idea with this. So it's not super wet, but just wet enough. And you kind of play it by ear. So as you're cleaning the card and it's not, doing enough then what a little bit more now i can feel that this is too wet so let me get some of that water off and the reason why you don't want this too wet is because the card is cardboard and it's paper so if it absorbs the water too much it will uh or really at all it can warp okay and we don't want that so let me zoom in here. All right, so I'm gonna attack this spot first. You see there's many black dots. Let's go about, again, you can see this is not super wet, which is good. All right. Now at first I'm not gonna press super hard. And you can already see, I'm just working at it and it's coming up. Little by little. And then feel it, feel it, see if it's too wet. 
if, if you feel it's too wet, then immediately dry it off. Immediately. You gotta feel it out, guys. Now look at that. Boom. That, that already looks 100 times better. Now come in with your towel. Dry it up. Now if this is a hollow, you see I don't have any paper towels here, because a paper towel can be very rough. You want a soft towel, rag, soft cloth. That's what you want to use. You don't want to rough this thing up, especially if it's a hollow card. Black speck here on the card here. Let's attack that. Again, I'm just I, I'm in the corner here. I'm, I'm only wetting the corner. Everything else on the soft cloth is dry. Doing circles, reverse circles, clockwise, counterclockwise. Dry that up. This is the dry part of the cloth. Okay. Maybe, and then switch back over to my wet corner. Let me see. And then you can see there's still a little little speckle there. Let me let me keep working at it. I'm not pressing super hard. I'm not, you know, ah, nice and easy. Gotta work at it. it takes patience, guys. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go for it. I see something on his forehead here. And this is coming up really good, actually. I'm very happy with how this is going. Something right here. Work at it, work at it. Drying it up. Okay. Coming back to it. Now this is, you know, if I'm having a lot of trouble with it, it is coming, but I'm, I'm pressing just a bit harder, play it by ear, a little bit harder, and boom. There you go. And there's some stuff here and here. The black specks are pretty easy to get off, I gotta say. But there are cards that are a bit more damaged than this one. Okay. Dry it up, dry it up. I see some black specks under the retreat cost lettering. And that immediately came off. Let's see. You guys see anything else? I see 30 HP has black specks on it. So let's go about doing that. Now be careful when you're pressing on these cards to hold them down. Don't put your nail into it, okay? You will easily ruin your card or destroy the grade if you're gonna get this graded by making any sort of indentions in the card. Even with the cloth. If you're, if you're pressing with your nail, you gotta be very careful. Sometimes something will be like really on there and you gotta put your nail into it a bit, but you gotta be careful guys, very careful. Again, always start light and then press harder and harder. Okay, now I'm drying this up. I can feel it's a little bit too, a little too damp for my like. For my liking. Okay. All right, nice. And then I'll come across it. And let's flip it to the back. Look at this. Black specks everywhere. All right, circling it out. We're gonna circle it. You gotta wear those black specks down. You cannot be defeated by them. And I'm going reverse, counterclockwise, clockwise, side to side. Nice. Now, if this was a white rag, you'd probably see it starting to get dirtier. There's a black speck right here. And I will use this one on the really dirty card to show you how dirty these can get. Okay. Black speck right there. Immediately came off. All right. Let me zoom out here. Okay, and I will you take your card, and I'm using this rag uh, as like a placemat, but 
you may want a separate towel and this is what you would do with the card. You'd put it somewhere else, to the side. Okay, and, and this is what I like to do. I just put a towel over it on the bottom and top and let it absorb kind of, it should, like again, the card should not be wet, really, but I can feel there's a little dampness, a little dampness, like, because I, I had to damp it a little bit, but you shouldn't see water drops or anything. So it, it, it feels dry for the most part, but just to be safe, I'll put a towel over it and then let it sit there as I work on my other cards and let the towel pick up any kind of dampness there is. So I'll put the Albert to the side and we'll go with this very dirty coffin. Now let's let's look, check this coffin out. This is just the bottom of it, specs, 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 all over coffin. Come up here. This is terrible. Terrible, terrible. All right. So same thing, got your water. I'll go with a different rag. I'm gonna dry my fingers off on the towel. Coffin comes here, Let's zoom in. First I'll show you the rag. Um, I mean, since it's wet, it does look dirty. See, it's it's darker, but I'll show you what happens. Now, I'm gonna get some of the water off of this rag onto this towel to get it off of the soft cloth. And let's begin. I'm trying to zoom in a bit more. There you go. All right. Again, start lightly. and press accordingly. Who knows how long these specs have been on here, how many years, maybe 15, 20 years. So you just gotta work it, soften it up and it'll eventually come off. And you can see it's getting cleaner. It's getting cleaner, guys. I'm pressing harder accordingly because I, would, I noticed it's harder to get up. So had to press harder and it's working. And you gotta be careful with the edges because the worst thing you do want to do like you guys ever have a piece of paper and maybe you're erasing and the eraser comes off the piece of the edge of the paper and then you come back and you totally crumble the paper. That's what you don't want to do with a Pokemon card, especially a rare one. So be very cautious of that. Nice. I'm gonna do this, dry it up a bit. Not that it's super wet, but again, any kind of dampness, gotta get off. Because this card will absorb it. I'm gonna re-wet re this rag. Okay. I'm rubbing it on the towel here and then come back. And then this car needs a little bit more water. All right. And go back at it. Nice, and see all this? Watch this. Now I haven't had to use that blade, luckily. Um, that can be a really dangerous thing to use because if you dig into the card, like you're done for. So you might not want to do that on super rare cards, maybe lesser cards that you, know, you can afford to possibly mess up. It's 
black spec. Okay guys, so you saw how I used the water and the rag and the towel together. Let me show you what I do at the end in case you need it. This is just in case you need it. You may not need it, but you might need it. If your card starts to get warped because you accidentally used too much water, this is what you do. Alright, so say you, your coffin and your abras starting to warp, starting to bend. This is how you save it. Now as you can see, these cards look great. I didn't use too much water. These look fine, feel fine, great. But if your card starts to warp, you're gonna fold your card in a towel, like that, make sure they're flat. And then you take a book, open your book, maybe to the middle, wherever. Put your card in the book. Make sure they're flat. In the book, close the book, and then you just start stacking stuff on top. <laughs> Stack and put as much weight as you can on those cards. And it'll flatten them out, no problem. Leave them in there for, I, I mean a day, two days, however long you need. And then yeah, that's it. Well, that's it for this video guys again the towel comes in handy even if you don't need to flatten the card from warping keep your cards after you after you clean them keep them on a towel pull the towel up and just let it sit for a bit just let it sit and uh, come back and check it every now and then and see if it's completely dry and then you can put the card back into the sleeve once it's completely dry because you don't want to put a wet card in a plastic sleeve because that water will stay, stay there so just Make sure the card is completely dry before you do anything with it. And that's it. All right guys, so I had my cards laid out on the floor on a, on a towel, uh, just so they can air dry. No warping at all. You definitely uh, should not have any problems putting a little bit of water on them. It's completely fine. If somehow it is warping, that means you use way too much water. But just, just do what I told you guys, just droplets of water. The, the rag can be damp, it's okay. It can be a little damp and apply more water as you need it. Um, sometimes I, I ended up adding a, a lot more water than I thought uh, I would use and um, the rag was wet, but as soon as you wipe it and like kind of uh, wor work the uh, the crust of the dirt and like kind of wet it up a bit, you go on, you flip the rag over, hit it with the dry side and clean up the water, dry up the water real quick and then it'll, it'll, it'll bring off the dirt. So wet dry wet dry you just keep switching back and forth but these came out completely fine after a couple hours of air drying no warping at all ready to sleeve these back up uh, just make sure before you sleep anything back up they're completely dry and uh, have them laid out as, as long as possible don't don't rush it a couple hours even a, a day have them laid out all day it's fine just don't sleeve it up again uh, with it still being wet okay now back to the outro if you guys got any value from this video please like Comment down below if this worked for you. Also consider subscribing. This channel is dedicated to Pokemon, collecting and investing and anything I can help you with. Let me know down below. I'll answer any questions. And uh, if you have any ideas for other videos, leave them down in the comment, in the comment section. Again, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on TikTok, Many Simone Cards. I do card openings on there every day and I do live streams on there as well where I draw Pokemon per your request. So if you want me to draw Pokemon for you, I'll draw it. Uh, right up there on the live stream and um, it's awesome it's fun so thanks again guys for watching i'm manny simone cards and until next time manny out